Hello everybody, Rockley Smile back again with another Nyx Weird Drinks. I don't know if that's the official title, but that's what I'm calling it at the moment. How's it going? We got some banana bubble tea in a can. Yeah, they put it in a can. I didn't believe it either. Uh, what do you know? It's by a brand called Inno Tea. It's called Number One Bubble Tea with tapioca pearls, which uh, I'm going to go ahead and contest that claim. I'm not actually sure if they're tapioca based on the ingredient list. I'll go through that with you in a moment. It says banana a lot of times on it. It says banana at the top. It says banana along the sides here twice. And then it says banana in the front. I think it says banana more somewhere else. It's a lot of banana. I tend to like banana drinks, so I'm probably going to be okay with this. I could see a lot of people being put off by it. I'm also not sure if the idea of bubble tea coming out of a can is necessarily a great idea either. Uh, but we're going to try it in just a few moments. It's very yellow. And I'm not really sure what they're trying to elicit with this graphic design. It's uh, a weird combination of like a Mike's Hard Lemonade, like hard drink look with an old timey tincture, but with also like a little vibe of like weird clip art. So our nutrition facts, this is a quite large drink, actually, 16.6 .6 fluid ounces or 490 milliliters, uh, 290 calories, and I'll just show you the back here. Again, it doesn't quite like to focus when I want it to. You can kind of see it. Uh, we've got total fat percent, 6 grams, 8% of your daily value, saturated fat, 3 grams, 15%. Cholesterol, 17 milligrams is 6%. Sodium, 270 milligrams for 12%. That's more salt than I would have expected, actually. Total carbohydrates, 19% uh, or 53 grams. And it's, again, incredibly sweet. It's 51 grams. Total sugars included 38 grams added sugar, 76%. I really got to stop buying these insanely overly sweet drinks. I didn't think bubble tea would be that sweet, but I mean, I know it is relatively. Uh, it's also got a decent amount of calcium in it. It's 24% of that and 360 milligrams calcium and potassium, 343 milligrams, uh, which is 7%. And, well, you'd think there'd probably be more considering it's like a banana drink, but, you know, how much banana actually made it in here? It says it is a product of Taiwan. And the ingredients start water, then sugar. So it's sugar water. <laughs> and then it says starch balls, which, I don't know, that just sounds like a terrible condition you would develop, potentially. Uh, starch balls, which starch, tapioca, I don't, maybe tapioca is just starch. Maybe that's all it is. Whole milk powder, banana juice. Oh, there is banana juice. Good. Whey protein powder, flavor emulsifiers, mono and diglycerides, sodium, sterol, lactate, lactylate, caragrenin, I'm pretty sure that was a StarCraft character, uh, salt, sodium bicarbonate, green tea powder, F, D, and C, yellow number five contains milk. All right, that's all I can get over uh, or get into with the explanations of things this cost me like 350 or so so it's a kind of an expensive drink but there's a decent amount of fluid in it cracking it for the first time it is a tan color inside of the drink i was gonna show you in the camera but i think the better way to go is i'm just gonna pour some into a glass because i want to see these starch balls if it, any of them have come through I shook it up already before I went on camera. Uh, I don't think we got a good distribution of starch balls. So the color is, it's tan, like slightly reddish tan. Uh, I have a sort of a yellow tinted light, so this is probably going to look a little more neutral than it actually is, but there's a bit of red in this yellowish tan. Uh, and it smells quite banana-y just off the top, like as if we're just smelling like a banana concentrate flavor. It's not an off-putting scent, actually. It's got a bit of richness to it. I was expecting more banana, 
actually. It smells more of banana than it actually tastes. Uh, what I actually got is more of a milk tea flavor. Reasonably sweet, not insanely sweet, like that first coconut drink with aloe that I had. Which, by the way, I didn't actually make it through the whole bottle of that. I ended up doing two sittings of it, left about a third of it left, and left it out so long that I just dumped it down the sink. And I was like, all right, that was not a great use of money, but, you know, I tried it. <laughs> <laughs> Again, I think that stuff would be better suited for, like, making cocktails than actually just drinking it. It was so sweet. Yeah, it kind of tastes like a very light banana flavor. Much more milk tea, almost like a protein shake flavor. And I didn't actually get any of the bubbles or the, the boba in this. I love bubble tea. I love banana drinks. This seems like it would be a fantastic pairing. I poured a bunch more in there. I just still don't think any came out. I think they're all just clumped at the bottom, which begs the question, like, without a bubble tea straw, how is this really meant to work? You're just going to end up with the entire pile of the bubbles at the bottom. There's nothing in there. Come on now. We have to be able to actually taste one of these starch pearls. I'm just dumping half of the can out, and I don't think I've gotten a single one. I'm literally through half the can now. I've, I've... Are there actually not bubbles? <laughs> I'm pretty sure they're in there somewhere. Okay, I'm just going to have to drink this like a fiend now. I'm going to get hyped because of all the sugar. Not a single one in that. Got about half of it left. Oh, I got some. I got some. They're in there. Uh, I don't know if you can see them. All right, I'll see if I can isolate a ball for you. I found them. They're, they're at the bottom of the glass. They look like little blueberries. Sorry, this is not the most attractive thing, just looking into my dirty cup now. Um, all right, well, they look like tapioca pearls. Let's try one. Ooh. They've all stuck to the bottom of the glass, so I didn't get any again. Nope. Nope. No, 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 no. That's not how those work. They're not the tapioca rubbery that you expect. They crunch through with a bit of like a grainy almost texture to them. Uh, unpleasant, actually. Not what I was expecting, not what I, what I enjoy about the textural component of chewing through a, a boba. Do you call them boba in that case? They're tapioca pearls. We can just call them tapioca pearls. These do not taste like tapioca. They taste like something else. As I said, they're starch balls, so... I don't know. Is that a grounds for false advertising? Because it literally says tapioca pearls in the front bit here. I don't know. There's probably room to quibble about the specifics there. Um, so we've got a number of problems in this front. They're all gathered at the bottom. They're rather small. They don't really taste right. They don't have, like, a good texture to them. They don't really functionally accentuate any drink component of this, especially if you're just going to get a mouthful of them at the end of the whole thing and they're all stuck to the can. So maybe conceptually our number one in OT banana bubble tea with tapioca pearls uh, concept is not entirely well thought out. That's unfortunate. This could have been a hit. I was rooting for this. And actually, the flavor of the drink itself is not bad. It's inoffensive. Vaguely banana-ish, very sweet, but not... 
it's not insanely sweet like the uh, coconut drink, but very sweet. I think a lot of people would like this if they like banana drinks, and I know a lot of people don't, but that's another topic. Um, so the other thing is I also bought a melon flavor of this, and now I can basically uh, pretty much figure what that's going to be like. It's going to be the same sort of milk tea with vague melon aftertaste kind of thing. Probably less pronounced even than the banana was. The reason I didn't open this and do a twofer on this video is just because do I really want to drink two cans of like 76% of my daily sugar intake? Uh, I know I could just take some of it, but then I'm going to have it open and the fridge is going to be a whole thing. So I'll just, I'll either let you know or I'll do another video on the melon one, see if it's any better. So would I recommend this if you find it at your local store? Uh, only if you really love the idea of a banana drink, because I have to say I haven't had a lot of this exact type of thing out there. I've never seen just like a banana tea kind of thing. So you might want to try it if you're curious, but be prepared. You're going to be a bit off-put by the tapioca texture. It's not proper. It doesn't feel right. Um, and probably you'll want to just pour the whole thing out into another container. I wouldn't drink this out of the can. It doesn't really work. Or it maybe have like a bubble tea straw you could put in through the mouth of the can. That might work out. Um, so I'm a little disappointed. I'm not entirely disappointed. And I just like chugged half of the, <laughs> the entire thing. Um, so I went on a couple of little journeys as well. I was looking for this Milkis. It's like a South Korean carbonated milk product. Uh, it was recommended in the comments. And I have been reading literally every single comment. You see, I've been putting hearts on all of them. Uh, had a couple of suggestions, and that was one of them. And so I went to a place that said they would have it. Uh, I did a search and then found them the closest local place. They didn't have it. So it's the second time that I've gone to a place that says it has the thing, and then I get there, it doesn't have it. There wasn't even a category of items where it would have been. So I either have to go to, like, an Asian import store specifically, or I need to order it on Amazon. Uh, I was hoping to just pick it up, like, locally, but I, I guess maybe, you know, South Korean drinks not as commonly found in upstate New York. You know, who'd have thought? <laughs> uh, but yeah, if you have any leads of places that I should go to in upstate New York around the, like, Poughkeepsie, Albany area, uh, feel free to let me know. Um, I'm in neither of those two places, but I'm near those areas. Um, that would be cool. So, I hope you're enjoying the series so far. I've re I've really enjoyed applying my Nick's Weird X format uh, to drinks. I really do enjoy a, a strange drink from time to time, and it's been quite interesting scrutinizing the store shelves of places that I haven't really paid much attention to to see the things that maybe have slipped through the cracks. I just didn't expect to find a weird drink here. And then I go and pick it up and give it a try. Um, I have also recently gotten another coconut drink. I don't know why I've gotten, and now this is the third one, um, and a chia seed drink, which I've never tried. I'm a little bit worried. Um, and I also got a Thai coffee drink, but I just drank that because I was just in the mood for coffee. I didn't expect it would be anything all that strange, and it turns out to have had chunks in it, which wasn't my fault. I couldn't see the chunks ahead of time because it was fully labeled with a plastic wrap that covered the entirety of the liquid portion. I was quite miffed about that. Uh, the taste was like, it was fine. It wasn't anything amazing, and then I found this big floating white thing in it, and I guess it's probably like the milk solid condensed um, and I did shake it a bit, too, and it didn't break up. And I was like, is this, like, mold floating on top of my drink? I really hope it's not. It's gross. So it's... I'm not sure what to do with it. I, when I found that, I was like, is this bad? I don't know. It tastes okay. It, maybe you just need to skim off the nasty. <laughs> Sorry for the very off-putting contents of this video today. I'm showing you my dirty cups and talking about skimming the nasty. Anyway, I guess that'll be all for our banana bubble tea segment. Let me know what you thought about this. If you would drink bubble tea out of a can, uh, first of all, if that's even a problem for you. How do you feel about banana drinks? I'd like to know because some people are very not into them. And some people are sort of neutral and some people hate them. Wait, I said don't like twice. Some people like them.
It's kind of like grape drinks. It's a little bit controversial. Um, appreciate all the comments, though. As I said, I'm reading all of them. Feel free to talk. I'd love to hear from you in the comments. Um, leave a like if you like. I'm doing the stupid mugging for YouTube thing for my thumbnails now, so... God have mercy on my soul. All I want to do is pay my bills. So I'll talk to you next time. Thanks for watching, everybody. <laughs> Take care. Bye.